Alright, so this question is asteroid collisions. So basically, let's do this. Um, you are know, given the integer array. So each asteroid representing a you know, positive and negative and negative value. Positive represent going in the pos positive direction, going right. Negative represent going left. So um, and each asteroid has the you know, the, I mean. And moving at the same speed but different you know mass and so this right so you want to find out that after all collision what are the remaining so if two asteroids meet the smallest smaller one will explore and if they are the same both of them will explore so if, if they are moving in the same direction they will never meet right so basically you just have to find out that if they are actually at different value right different value at this position and then this one will explode, so 10 and negative 5 will, you know, met. So negative 4, negative 3, you know, even though they're moving left, and they are not going, they are not going to explode, right? So negative 3, negative 4, they are the same. So the order does not matter in this scenario if they are, you know, both negative or both positive. And then, yeah, pretty much it. So we just need, like, a different value. I mean, different, um, we are comparing a different, um sign for the uh asteroid so okay so so let's look at it so if we have a puzzle i i have stack so my stack is going to is going to store the value for the positive um so primary for positive so if you have you know so negative positive 10 negative 10 and then you have you know another negative 3 negative 2 and then 5 so this will this will uh, explore right, but negative three, negative two, you know, they're not going to explore. So I'm still going to put into my stack, and then later on I found out I have five, but actually they are actually going two different directions. So negative going left, positive going right. So they are not going to meet right. So I I will have you know if I have like uh, negative two over here right something like this. So this will you know compare only, and then you will see okay you have five. So the answer will be, you know, something like this. So you will say, oh, I have these three values left, right? So um, this is what you need to, re need to return, right? So, uh, I mean, I can start putting in and just, just follow along. All right, so I have stack. This is going to, going to store integer. And then my, my context stack. And then I traverse the loop, uh, traverse the array, sorry. You are using a loop. So if the asteroid is positive, right, positive, then I just push the value in there. If not, then this is going to be negative and it's either collide or what, um, or you pop, I mean, I mean you pop, right? So, so while the stack is not empty, so which means there is something in the stack and also the stack.p is positive value. So just in case uh, you can have negative value in the stack and um, you want to make sure the, the, the one you compare uh, the peak and this guy are the different you know different sign so we already know this guy is, this guy at this current current timing this is negative and then we have positive right so we want to compare does math the absolute uh, this value is greater than my stack of p if this is happening, you know, this the, the smallest one will cancel out, right? So once you cancel out, I mean, you're still going to verify, you know, if, if the stack is empty, you want to push into, you know, the asteroid push into the stack. And also if the stack, the peak was less than zero, you know. So imagine that, um, so here's it. So you have 10, you have negative 10, and then these two collide, right? So somehow you have negative 3, negative 4, right? So this is, you know, the stack is already empty, right? So I'm at negative 3, so since stack is empty, so I push my value into the stack. And then negative 4 comes in, so you are not going to in this case, right? Because peak has to be greater than 0, right? So my, uh, I'm, my knowledge for the stack is what? Uh, my peak is... It's currently less than zero, right? So, so I just push into stack, no matter what. All right, another case you want to pop is what if they are at the same 
So stack of p is actually equal to the next absolute uh, asteroid, right? If they are actually at the same, you know, the same mass, so you want to say stack of pop. So this will be pretty much everything. However, you want to traverse the the stack, right? So stack is first in, last out, but you, but let's look at this. So, um, so imagine a negative three, a negative two, and a five in a stack. So five, we know is the last, the last uh, asteroid in the, in the array, right? But when you want to return, you want to return this, right? And you can just use in the full loop to traverse the stack. So it's gonna be int, I need to give it a size, return the, Length of the stack uh, stack size just you know using the traverse stack and then I say result at i plus plus equal to asteroid something like this right hopefully I don't make typo in anything all right so yeah here we are so uh, let's look at the time and space. This is going to be all of n for the time, right? And represent the end of the asteroids. And this is going to be a well, space. I'm going to say remaining for the value. So all of s, s depending on the this guy, the length of the uh, asteroid. So it's, I would say all of n for the space as well. If you you know, um, not going to collide every one, single one of them. So you need to store every single one of them in the return value. So this will be it. So if you're actually curious about why I'm not using this method, you will see. So, so it's gonna be result at i equal to stack of pop. So that uh, yeah, it's reverse, right? Because this is not how this is not how we traverse. So if you want to traverse from the you know the the first one, you want to to basically do this. And then don't forget you need to initialize the index. And this will be it. Alright, so it's a little bit challenge. So definitely you need to you know think about like what are the primary scenario and then what kind of you know um, collision you have. So this will be the solution. So if you have questions, leave a comment. I will see you next time. Bye.